to my life now. And the fact that there's people that can't get by that. J just think about it this way, all right? I started making regular content on the internet, on YouTube, probably around the spring of 2009. I mean, I sporadically was making videos like fall of 2008. Around spring of 2009, I started making very serious, like tons of consistent content, all right? All the way through now, like I never stopped. Now, if you do the math, spring of 2009 through, you know what they're talking about, the incident of 2016 is about seven years, okay? If you do the math, the incident until now is seven years. I have made just as much content in my time on YouTube after that stupid thing happened than before. You understand? I've been, I've grown, I've changed, I've made way more positive content and become a better person from who I was back then. I have completely moved past that part of my life. Why in the fuck would I want to keep reminding myself of how messed up and depressed and sad I was at that point in my life and how awful it was? Things are so much better now, why would I want to think about it constantly? But the thing is, the people who talk about it don't care. They love my misery. The day that I don't feel good is a day that they feel good about themselves because they feel like they got something out of life because they made someone else feel bad and got away with it. That's the kind of people who do things, like bring that up constantly. They're scumbags. They're really low people. They're the kind of people you want to avoid in life. They're the kind of people who you don't want to spend time with because they're toxic, all right? That's the kind of people you want to... Fuck you. I'm going to build up a positive life over here and stay away from this toxic individual who literally only focuses on people's failures. Okay? I, I'm done with that. So, that's what I mean. Like, I'm just going to stay away from it. Yes. Do I own it? Of course I do. Did it happen? Of course it did. It was seven fucking years ago. I made more content after the fact than before. So, how are you going to say to me that this is something representative of who I am today and something I need to even bring up or care? I don't care. I, you know, I don't. I'm done with it. And all it is, it's very simple. It's bullying. When people do it, they feel better about themselves because there's something wrong with them. People who do this kind of online bullying actually have something wrong up here. Maybe they actually hate themselves in their own personal lives. Maybe they're jealous of something, you know? Who knows? You know not to do that and pass that along, right? But Rich is not that way. Rich, he just passes that toxicity along and continues that history of, of, of bad treatment of people. He just doesn't care. <clears throat> okay. So we're done. I'm not going to talk to these dumb, dumb lackeys or anything either. These fucking idiots come in here with do dollar tips. I'm just going to tell you to go fuck yourself like you deserve and get out of here and we'll move on. Okay? All right. So that's that. We're good with shout outs for now. Now we can get back to normal. See, I got it off my chest. Right? We're done. And uh, now we can move on positively. Correct? Thank you. That's it for that. I don't want to hope they're better, by the way, because I don't know. And I felt real bad because I know that we had some bad blood. And I personally reached out to the guy behind the scenes. And I said, you know, no bad blood is worth the stress of having a family member who's really ill. I've been there. And I wanted you to know that I hope that your daughter feels better. And I kind of want to squash whatever we have. You know, in fact, would you like to have a conversation? Would you like to maybe come on my show and just talk? Have a candid conversation just being real with each other and just being nice to each other rather than being at each other's throats and making fun of each other? And he basically said he would be interested in that. But he couldn't make it that day and we were going to try to set it up. Okay? So, that's, that was a conversation I had with the man. And then literally, I'm not shitting you, within 24 hours of that conversation, he went on Twitter and he fucking shat all over me and insulted me publicly. So what the fuck kind of person is that? Why the fuck would I waste my time with that guy? He's a scumbag. He literally took my goodwill, I want to be nice to you, because I feel bad because you're having a bad time in your life. I sympathize, empathize, I've been there. I just want us to not have beef. I don't want to have beef with anyone. Let's just be fucking cool with each other. And then he literally took that, said thanks, and he slammed it down on the ground, and he stomped it into paste, and he laughed at it, and he went and made fucking nasty tweets about me. So, Rich can go fuck himself. I want nothing to do with the guy ever again. He, he really, if you think that Rich is someone to be looked up to or, or even enjoy his content, you're a fucking idiot. You need to look in the mirror at yourself and say, what the fuck's wrong with me? This guy is a piece of shit. And I'm following him and I like his stuff. Someone who's going to have an entire event based around bullying someone who doesn't care about him and wants nothing to do with him. All right? It's time to 
to really have a self-assessment here of who you are and realize this is not the kind of person you want as part of your life, all right? Really. And it's just pathetic because this is a guy who not only knows he has a million subs on YouTube and knows that people will actually follow the things he says and does, he's irresponsible with it. This is the kind of person I talk about all the time where when you have a following on YouTube or anywhere, you need to be responsible with your following. Life is not all jokes for everyone. Not Life is not all fun and games and pranks and, oh, everyone should just laugh at everything. There's people who go through real life shit who don't need your shit. I outright told Rich earlier this year, I don't need your shit. I got so much personal shit going on in my life, I don't need more stress from you. He doesn't care. He does it anyway because he, he personally gets laughs and benefits out of it. So he doesn't care who he hurts or stomps on. That's the kind of guy he is. But he'll portray himself like a nice guy to the internet when in reality, he's just another fucking scumbag like everybody else. And the real sad fact about this all, all right, I'm sorry to say it, is that not only does he have fans, but he has kids. And now, later on in life, they're gonna look back at his behavior on the internet and they're gonna say they're gonna think that that's okay that it's okay to bully people that it's okay to be nasty to people because that's what dad did that's fucked up that's legitimately fucked up really you think they're gonna be insulated from this behavior for the rest of their lives no they're not gonna be they're gonna know exactly what he's doing they're gonna get wind of it when they get older and they say my dad used to bully people on the internet what the fuck is this he used to make money bullying people i could never live with that really I really, I could never live with that with myself if that was me doing it. I couldn't. So, it's pretty fucked up, man. And, uh, you know, I hope that he'll fucking wise up someday. But I, at this point, I don't think so. I think when you see someone that's that far gone, you can't... You, you, I gave this guy the benefit of the doubt so, so many times. I tried to extend the olive branch so many times to this man. And every time that I try, he stomps on it and he shits on me again right away for personal benefit. So at this point, I know things are never going to change. I know he will always be that kind of person, and I'm done with him, all right? So he can do whatever he wants, but any of his idiotic, mouth-drooling lackeys who come to my stream today to try to make me miserable, especially on today, I already told you guys, I've got a lot of fucked-up stuff going on in my life right now. I don't need it. And the fact that he's got his people coming over here being fucking nasty to me just shows the kind of person he is. I'm done with this man. I want nothing to do with him. In fact, after this moment, I don't ever want to bring him up ever again. I'm done with this fucker. He's so insignificant to anything I care about on this planet. And by the way, this isn't new. This is a guy who's done this to me for like a decade. Constantly talking about me and his fucking content and shit. He's like, shut the fuck up, you idiot. No one fucking should care about you. You're such a dunce. You're so insignificant to anything meaningful on this planet. You've helped no one. All you've done is fucking hurt people with your bullshit. Shut the fuck up. This is the kind of person who doesn't deserve a platform because they're just an online bully.